Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $4.99 for post-apocalyptic mayhem. This game normally retails for $9.99. Post-apocalyptic mayhem was developed by Steel Monkeys, and I didn't really know a lot about this company, so I went to their website. They have some interesting projects listed on their projects page. Uh, Bob the Builder, uh, Rocky, and also a spy hunter game that they ported, ported, that they ported, they ported to the PC based on a movie that was never made that was supposed to star The Rock. Now, we won't hold that against them as we take a look at this game, but here is the intro video, some in-game footage for you, getting an idea of what we're going to see. Hey, it is Poca, post, Poca, P Poca, Poca, Poca Apocalyptic. It's post-apocalyptic, and uh, there seems to be at least a small degree of mayhem going on. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to finish watching this intro video, uh, you can look it up online. It's everywhere, Steam, the YouTubes, and all that. Alright, let's get into the game. Now, one thing I'll tell you as I start to set things up is, this game plays fantastically with a gamepad, but um, I am unfortunately limited to playing it with the, P uh, the PC keyboard right now. Um, but even then, it's not too bad. Uh, the, the, you'll notice that the, the vehicle movement is a little bit jerky, uh, but uh, other than that, it works pretty well. Not a lot of subtlety here in the names. Logger. Well, he's a logger. Scorcher's got the flamey throwers. Space Cowboy is from the future. And also, I think some people call him Maurice, but uh, not sure. Childhood Dreams. Oh God, that sounds like a what a pedophile would name his car. Uh, <laughs> Nitro Genius, and he appears to be the Freezy Guy, and Meth Alchemist. Oh my God. All right, um, a little bit of a twisted metal vibe, definitely. I think there's heavy inspiration there. Um, oddly enough, I like Childhood Dreams, so I'm gonna go with him. Um, I've played Wasteland as I prepped for this uh, this whole video, so I'm going to try something else. What do we got here? we got three levels to start with. I do believe there's a free DLC of an additional level, uh, but let's go ahead and take Concrete Jungle. So, this game is well, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it is exactly what you would think that it would be. It is a combat... Whoa! I flipped. I'm flipped. Okay. It is a combat racer. Um, I'm stuck. There we go. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Press R to reset. Okay, so it's a combat racer. Um, lots of cool weapons. You have a front weapon. Wow. Right just smack into a wall. Amazing. Yes, guys, I know you come here for my my excellent gaming skills as demonstrated right there okay so you have a um, your basic combat setup you have a front weapon you have a side weapon and you have a rear weapon as well as nitro which I'm using to great effect right there and you do get these sort of little cues on your vehicle when you have weapons as you can see I have these red glowing barrels in the back which lets me know I have a rear weapon available which I just dispensed there and uh, also you have the readout down at the bottom showing you the colored buttons whoa okay I was killed by the meth alchemist apparently and that'll give you an idea of what weapons you have available at the moment you always start with uh, a little bit of nitro but other than that uh, you don't really have too much you have to collect the colored barrels in order to get the appropriate power-ups. And everybody, based on their... Whoa, what, what happened? I kind of move. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know what accent that was at all. So you all have unique weapons. Um, that's not the nitro button that is. So, you know, I have these sort of oily, slicky barrels. Um, the, the nitro guy had... Uh, the ice guy had ice. Whoa, some that guy had pink stuff. Um, and so forth and so on. So unique weapons, you know, it makes it a little bit of a unique experience with each individual vehicle. 
And uh, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. I mean, you can see exactly what you get right here for your money. And um, yeah, you know, I, I like that. I like a game... Oh, I got a couple kills there. Um, I like a game that just is what it is. I mean, there's no, there's no pretense here. They give you exactly what you think you're getting. Um, when I buy this game, I expect... Well, I expect this. I expect these jacked up crazy cars. Whoa! Oh, frozen nitro. I expect these jacked up crazy cars. I expect these destroyed landscapes. You know, this is a... Wow, I also expect to be able to not run into environmental hazards, but it's apparently too much to ask. Uh, but yeah, I love that this game gives you... It tells you up front what it is, and it gives you exactly what you expect. And, hey, that is awesome. Oh, take that, fellas. Damn. All right. Um, I'm going into the tricky, tricky underground here. Not going to get stuck in the same place again. Yes, learning from my mistakes. Fantastic. All right. Oh, I got my uh, rear weapon. I should give him some fits right there. So, post-apocalyptic mayhem, what do we think about this game? Well, I hope you can tell that I'm having a little bit of fun playing this game. And, uh, yeah, let's rate it. Post-apocalyptic mayhem. We rate things here on a five-buck system because we never pay more than five dollars for a game on Big Dave is Cheap. So, what would I give this game? How many bucks? Well, I'd give it five bucks out of five if... There was a little more content, a little more levels, a couple more cars. As the game stands right now, I'm going to give it four bucks out of five. I have not yet tried the multiplayer. I may do a separate video uh, where I take a look at the possibilities of this game for multiplayer. But for single player, I haven't tried the other modes, but just the replayability of arcade mode, the, the hectic nature of it, and the, the fun that there is to, uh, to, to be had just, just through running around this track and competing with the computer guys, I enjoy it. Um, infinitely replayable? No, uh, definitely not. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any more DLC coming, but it is encouraging, at least that they do have one free DLC pack there for the fans. So, four bucks out of five. Uh, that means that I really like the game. I would uh, definitely buy it again. Um, would I pay more than five dollars for it? Probably not, but I would pay five dollars for it again. And that's kind of going to be kind of how the system goes here. Uh, you'll get more familiar with my very uh, ham-fisted rating system. Uh, five bucks out of five means I would pay full price for the game if I got it on sale, uh, or if I didn't. Oh, I won! Chiefs! Yes! All right. So, take a look at the score there. Yes, I, I am one. Um, yeah, so my rating system, five bucks out of five means I would pay more than five dollars, or full price, because the game was really enjoyable. Four bucks out of five means that I would definitely pay five bucks for it again, uh, and that it was still very enjoyable. Uh, three bucks out of five means I'm on the fence. Uh, I might consider it, but uh, I would need more time to evaluate the game to figure out if it's really worth it. Two bucks out of five means I probably would not buy this game again, uh, no matter what the price. And one buck out of five means that, uh, frankly, I regret my purchase. So, four bucks out of five for post-apocalyptic mayhem. If you can find this game for under five dollars, I would definitely recommend that you buy it. Until next time, guys, I have been Big Dave, and take it easy.